stopping by and I hope you're doing fantastic. So today I am continuing the craft room organization series for this year. And in today's video, I am going to show you how I organize some of the tools in a bookcase. So if you have a bookcase in your craft room or your crafting area, you can do so many things in a bookcase. You can store so many things. And if you're new to my channel, hello, hello, I am Karina, and this is a paper craft and also an organizational channel. If you are interested in watching these type of videos, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button and tap that bell so you can get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you very much. And without further ado, let's go ahead and move the camera so you can watch what I store in one of the bookcases in my craft room. So I am here in the part of the craft room where the bookcase is. As you can see, you can contain so many things in a bookcase. And the reason that I have the things placed there is because at one point in time I was stamping more, I'm using all more of my markers and my blinks, so this might change probably after six months because I keep revamping things based on how I craft. So let's come closer and over here on top is a little shelf that I bought at an auction and I painted it a couple of years ago. So let's take a look at the top. So what do I have on the top? On the top I have this basket that I bought a couple of years ago with a tag. I have some of my smaller punch boards and I have a bunny here, of course. I have this empty container that probably should not be here. Got this at the container store. Looks like paper, but it's made of plastic. And then I have these stickles uh, container. And I got these, I would say, more than 10 years ago when stickles were in. We were doing a lot of things. Um, like scrapbook layouts, mini albums with stickles, and I think this is just a great way of keeping them. And so far, some of my stickles are, yes, they're all, and they're still working. They're not plugged. They're not dry. So this is just perfection for, uh, to maintain your stickles in good shape. In other words, they don't dry out. And then let's go back to and take a look at the first shelf. And the first shelf has all these mini plastic containers. Got these at Target and these other ones are from the Recollection um, brand that I bought them at Michael's. And this one, these are my handy tools. Yes, I keep all my handy tools. This is an excellent tool to grab any little sequence. It almost acts like as a magnet. I have my ribbon cutter here, stapler, some of my distress tools, um, a chomper, kind of like exacto knives, and my distressing block. Yes, this is from We're Keeping Memories. And then these other two ones, I'm gonna come a little bit down here. These other two ones. These are my Nuvo Drops and um, Shimmer Sprays from Stamping Up and more of the Mica and Studio Calico inks. Over here I have more of the Enamel Accents. Back here I have some of my watercolor pencils. Over here these are all the acrylic blocks that I use for stamps, for my clear stamps and clingy stamps bussing body and some stamps cleaners and over here I have the Texas Rangers team holds blending tools with the pads I have here more of some of the brushes sometimes um, when I do my cards 
I use um, different uh, types of inks and I blend uh, inks with these brushes which are really good and this brush let's see to focus better this is a magical brush yes I got this a couple of years ago and it's the best thing if you're working with glitter you just brush and the glitter is gone. I don't know where the glitter goes because it doesn't stay in the brush as you can see. It doesn't stay on your hands or your desk or your project. So it's super magical. And over here on the back, for those who love to stamp and emboss, this is a tray where um, when you are embossing, all the embossing powder stays here and then it has an opening so you can just pour your embossing powder into the container. So it's really handy and as you can see there I have used used it and let's go and check the second shelf. So the second shelf as you can see I have these four little plastic um, kind of mini three drawers containers that I got at Target I would say probably a couple of years ago and on the top I have some markers from Stamping Up Collection, Kelly Create ma Markers, Bold and Bright Blending Inks, I have these scrape paper nice um, bin or tray with some of my Queen and Company um, doilies and you know things like that. And here is my crop dial, which I use it a lot, so I have it here handy. And on all these drawers, I have not labeled them because I keep switching things around. But so far, um, I had placed here blinks. These are all my blinks, yes. I'm, I'm working currently on blinks and I'm putting little jammies or NML. Uh, dots etc so I have here the blinks over here you know kind of like plain blinks these are more of my specialty blinks these are blinks that I'm being hoarding from this brand basic gray and I just love it I wish this company will come back and sell but they are now more devoted into the fabric so I have here more more of my mini blinks from Queen and Company and these are kind of like word words blinks things like that on the second one these are all the blinks multicolor pearls this other one has some of the Dollar Tree stuff you know the flowers and butterfly with little pearls over here is like a hush posh of blinks I probably should call it coordinate them but you know I like to just search in in open drawers and just look around for things these are some of my NML dots that I have from few collections over here these are all the adhesive um, Jammies, two little pearls, everything is pearls here, and more jammies. And on this last one, I have some of my chalkboard inks. Yes, I just love the chalkboard inks, and some of my embossing powders. Yeah, this is not the entire um, collection of embossing powders, so. Now let's take a look at the third shelf. The third shelf, I have the magazines. This is a collection of magazines. Um, there used to be a magazine called Scrapbook Trends and I was subscribed to it. Let me show you because I've been following Heidi Swap for a long time. Oh, here we go. I found, I found her. So yes, this Scrapbook Trend magazine release some of the designers that were at that time you know trendy and here's my Heidi Swap magazine yes she ha she released this magazine and you can see all her projects here 
Look at that. How cute. That was how everything was done at that time. You know, things that keep changing. And I'm so happy that I'm seeing all the trends uh, 10 years ago are coming back again. And over here, I have these magazines that I'm being hoarding. And I just keep them because I love them. They're all related to scrapbooking, paper, card making, etc. And I got this Ikea kind of like wooden magazine holder years ago and look at me embossing and, and embellishing it with ribbons and stickers and all kinds of things so this is the view of the bookcase as you can see we can store so many things in the bookcase like supplies or your tools and to get a cohesive look just get containers the same color and I am going to leave the link of all the products that you have seen here, like the containers that I bought at Target, the uh, Magic Glitter Brush, uh, Stickles Containers, etc., etc., etc. Again, if you have enjoyed this video, just leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you like and what would you like to see on my craft room series and don't forget to give the thumbs up to like it share this video with any of your friends and family and if you haven't done so what are you waiting for click that subscribe button and tap that bell so you can get notified when i upload new videos thank you very much thanks for watching my crafty friends and see you on my next video bye